Imagine you just bought a little house with a small garden, and for that garden you of course need a lawnmower. So you decide to go to the store, ask the staff what is the best lawnmower you actually have. So they show you around and show you really the best model they have. A huge lawnmower with all the best technology up to date. You need to steer it and you say that's the one. So. You end up buying it, they deliver it to your home, you sit onto it, you turn on the massage chair and you want to start mowing your lawn. But then you notice one problem, you can't even properly turn around because your garden is too small for your huge lawnmower. And it's the same with best practices in programming. They are all there for a reason, they all have their place, but not as a universal solution for all cases. So that lawnmower you actually bought is really good, it has the latest technology and all that stuff, but for your garden it's actually not an appropriate solution because it's way too big. And I feel like people nowadays rather stick to best practices in programming because other people told them to do so, because it's kind of a trend, something you do, something the cool kids do, and you need to do to belong to the cool kids, and less because the best practice is actually a, a solution to your specific problem. And then they end up like flooding their four screen apps with the use cases, with repositories, like 20 use cases that call a single repository function that doesn't do anything else. And then they call it a good architecture because it has use cases and because it has repositories. But there is not a such thing as good architecture, at least not in the general sense. An architecture is actually good if it's maintainable while making sure that it adds the least amount of code necessary to it. So it's not a good architecture if you just have a small project and you add tons of use cases that don't do anything, you add tons of repositories, factories, all just because people told you those are a best practice. No, that's not a good architecture because it just floods your project with boilerplate code. And don't get me wrong here, like use cases are a great pattern if applied correctly, repositories are a great pattern if applied correctly, and also factory, um, factory classes are a great pattern if applied correctly. But uh, yeah, I really want to stress if applied correctly. And yeah, if you just flood your project with these classes, um, if it's just a small three, four, five screen app, then that's total overkill and you really don't have to do that. You could have a much simpler project that would still be maintainable. For example, just putting business logic in view models. You, you're not going to risk having God view models in such a small app. And most apps are actually not like a hundred screen apps. For these apps, of course, it makes sense to think about these patterns um, that people often recommend you as the general universal best practice. They do make sense in specific cases, uh, but for most people who especially learn Android development as newbies, that, that they can achieve their goals in a much simpler way with less confusion. And I just want to encourage you, whenever you actually apply a best practice in your project, then ask yourself, do I apply this best practice now because it helps me to it helps me with XYZ, so with a specific thing, or do I apply this because someone actually told me it's a best practice and I have to apply best practices? So that's really a question you should ask yourself. So if you if you can answer this question with a specific problem you solve with this best practice, then it totally makes sense to implement that, of course. That's why we have these best practices, but just not as a general and universal solution to our problems. So my personal recommendation here is, if you don't know why you apply best practice, then don't apply it. Unless you actually want to learn about that best practice, then you of course have to apply to learn about it. But if you're just developing a serious project, then you should really ask yourself that question whenever you think about implementing a best practice. And if you actually want to take your Android skills to the next level, I got good news for you because today and tomorrow there's still a sale running on my website. You can get 20% off of all my courses using the discount code HAPPY-EASTER. So do check them out down below. First link in this video's description. Enjoy and happy learning.